A polyhedron P in Rn is called a polytope if it is bounded. That is, there exists a positive number m such that the norm of x is less than m for all x in P. Here we are using the two norm. The norm of x is given by the square root of x transpose times x. So here is an example of a polytope in R2. Because bounded sets cannot contain lines, and the result from a previous video states that a polyhedron that does not contain a line must be pointed, we see that non-empty polytopes are pointed. In fact, we know a bit more, and we're going to prove the following result. If P in Rn is a non-empty polytope, then P is the convex hull of its extreme points. So for example here, we see that this polytope is given by the convex hull of these extreme points. In the previous video, we saw how a polyhedron can only have finitely many extreme points, so we can list the extreme points of P as U1 up to UK. And we're going to let Q be the convex hull of U1 up to UK. Since P is convex, P must contain Q. So we need to show that there's no element in P that is not in Q. But suppose otherwise. Let V be an element in P, not in Q. And we're going to apply the version of the separating hyperplane theorem that we proved in the previous video. So there exists A in Rn and beta in R such that A transpose V is less than beta and A transpose Ui is at least beta for I from 1 up to K. Now let LP denote the linear programming problem minimize A transpose X subject to X in P. Because P is non-empty, it has a feasible solution also, P is a bounded set, so this linear programming problem cannot be unbounded. And so, LP has an optimal solution. But we have seen that if a linear programming problem whose feasible region is pointed as an optimal solution, then it must have an optimal solution that is an extreme point of the feasible region. So there exists I prime from the set 1 up to K, such that UI prime is an optimal solution. So the optimal value of LP is A transpose UI prime and it's going to be at least beta from what we have up here. But now V is in P so V is a feasible solution to this LP problem. But the objective function value is A transpose V and is less than beta. This contradicts that the optimal value is at least beta. Because of this contradiction, our original supposition that there exists an element V in P but not in Q must be false. So P is in fact equal to Q, and we have proved our result. 